Hi, welcome to this lecture on how we're going to be looking at sorting data in Pandas. We will also cover how to sort data in ascending or descending order and how to sort data by multiple columns. So I'm going to add a markdown cell and then type sorting data. Then we're going to have to look at our data frame and then run the cell. Now let's start by sorting our data by a single column. We're going to use the sort values method in pandas. For example, I'm going to say data then say dot sort values method. Then we're going to pass in by equals to a column name. And based on this column name, our data frame is going to be sorted to. So I'm going to say sales. And when we run the cell, then we can see that we get back a data frame return where the values of sales are sorted in ascending order. And one thing to note is that we can also sort our data frame by multiple columns. We can pass in a list of column names to the by parameter. For example, I'm going to sort our data frame by the column sales and also by the trade column in descending order. So I'm going to copy our cell here and then paste right below here and then change cells here to a Python list, then add a comma. Then the second column name we're going to sort our data frame to, which is going to be trade. And finally, I'm going to say ascending equals to false and then run the cell. Now we can see that our data frame have been sorted based on the cells and the trade columns. Where the values of these columns are sorted in descending order, meaning from the highest to the lowest values. However, we can also sort our entire data frame by its index values. So I'm going to say data then dot sort underscore index. And in between the parentheses, we're going to say ascending equals to false and then run the cell. Now we can see that we get back a new data frame, but this time all the rows from our data frame are sorted by the data frame indexes in descending order. Now, if we want to sort a particular series from our data frame, let's say the column market, then we're going to grab that column by saying data with the column name of market then chain the sort underscore values method and then run the cell. Now we can see that our series of markets have been sorted alphabetically. So we've covered the basis of sorting data frames in pandas. And in the next lecture, we're going to be looking at handling missing values in pandas data frame. So I'll see you in the next lecture. Take care.